Hey, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Day in the Life of a Medical Student. My name is Amaya, and today I'm really excited because I'm down at the uh, Washington County uh, Medical Examiner's Office. I'm at the morgue, and I get to help Dr. Hamilton Ash perform a real autopsy. I'm really excited. Hey, Dr. Ash, who's our decedent? Our decedent John Lewis is a Caucasian male, age of 43, uh, was born April 1st, 1976, was identified by his wife, and dental impressions and fingerprints were taken to confirm identity. The body measures 71 inches in length and weighs an estimated 200 pounds. The scalp is covered in short black hair, the eyes are brown, and the pupils are dilated. The decedent was found face down on the pavement at a local park in Woodbury on May 28th at 12.53 p.m. He is wearing uh, black athletic uh, running shoes, a gray t-shirt, and uh, khakis. Witnesses at the park noted that he looked disoriented and confused while running. One noted seeing him stop and vomit what looked like water. The decedent's wife noted that his obsession with running and fitness has increased over the past year, and he drinks gallons of water each day. There is no evidence of a medical intervention or life-saving procedure such as IV lines, EKG pads on the body of the decedent. His heart had stopped by the time it was found, and paramedics arrived at the scene. This is the Y incision that we had made to perform the autopsy. Okay, we noticed through our examination there was an eight centimeter dragon tattoo on the left calf. Okay, the decedent has a six centimeter scar on the lower right side of the abdomen consistent with an appendectomy. Okay, the left side of the face has a large rounded cut right here and bruising on the cheek. There is smeared blood and minor abrasions on the palm side of the left hand. There were minor scrapes on both knees. Okay, all these external injuries are consistent with the fall. On the ring finger of the left hand is a gold colored wedding band. On the right wrist is a fitness tracker. The neck contains no palpable masses or bumps and the abdomen is flat and unremarkable. There is mild rig rigor mortis of the elbows and shoulders with more advanced rigor mortis of the joints of the lower extremities. These changes in the body are consistent with the time of death about 24 hours ago, noted by the paramedics on the scene. All right, we uh, then did a Y cut incision um, on the patient and we removed the organs. And what we did with the organs is we did an examination of them, we first weighed them. The lungs here, uh, the left lung weighed 670 grams and the right lung weighed 750 grams. Both are higher than normal for a uh, adult male. Um, there was a high degree of swelling and presence of red colored fluid in the tissue. All right, then we went on to examine the brain. The brain weighs a massive, uh, 1,383 grams and showed signs of significant edema or swelling as well. Um, the tissue samples of both the brain uh, and the lungs were sent for microscopic analysis. Uh, other organs here, including the heart, the liver, and the kidneys. Okay, so right now we just have the heart and the kidneys in front of you. Um, and we also examined the organs of the digestive system. None of, the other, none of those organs uh, showed any significant findings, although the bladder was extremely expanded and contained 900 cc's, almost a full liter of urine. Uh, so the tissue samples of the lungs and brain uh, confirmed significant edema or uh, accumulation of fluid. Uh, we ran some toxicology tests on the blood and blood alcohol was normal. There were no drugs detected in the urine. Uh, because of the evidence of high fluid intake, uh, additional blood work was run. Analysis revealed extremely low sodium levels, less than 110 milliequivalent per liter. 
The amount of this mineral in the blood has clearly been diluted by the excess fluid in the body. The sodium levels are consistent with the accumulation of fluid seen in the lungs and brain. Given the evidence of edema of the brain and lungs, the low sodium levels, and the clear evidence of massive water consumption, the cause of death is determined to be hypoatremia with the, res uh, with the result of acute water intoxication. The cerebral edema, the swelling in his brain, uh, caused his brain to shut down and without intervention, his entire body shut down as well. Death is determined to be accidental.